Okay, I'm at 8 Columbus Avenue, and this is the home of Stephen Giles. Is that right? Giles. Giles. Okay, yes. Stephen Giles and Anita Tanini. And they're going to help me uh, test uh, their alarm. And um, he has an, what we call an older style unit, which has two boxes. Um, and what we're going to do uh, is to try to uh, prevent backups. We're going to test to make sure this alarm is functional. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the, the power to the pump, and we're going to turn off the power to the alarm, and then, Anita, go ahead and let the water down. And there's no other water running in the in the house, right? Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, and um, okay, good. And that that's gonna that water is gonna come and it's gonna fill up the uh, the wet well in the grinder pump. And because we filled up the bathtub, that's going to be about 25 gallons, because that's a fairly normal amount for for a bathtub. And um, after that's all uh, filled up, it should turn on his alarm. Now, here I've turned off the power to the alarm because because Steve has a unit here which is called a battery backup unit. And in the second panel, behind this cover, there's a battery. And that battery is there to illuminate this light in a high water condition. And um, if I turn on the power to the alarm, like that, when we hit the high water condition, this light and this uh, buzzer uh, will go off, or they should go off if the uh, system is working properly. So that, that's what we're looking for. So we're going we're to test uh, this light, uh, this alarm, and we're also going to test this alarm over here, which is just uh, it's the light. And... Um, because this is an older unit, um, this unit did have some problems in the field with uh, corrosion uh, in the battery backup system. And this was explained by Bill Yoder to the Grinder Pump Committee. And as a result of that, many of the techs, when they came out to service these units, because that battery backup system was not working, they bypassed it. And I can actually tell by looking at Steve's wires here that that battery backup unit has been bypassed so I don't expect um, this light over here to actually work uh, in this test and that's one thing that we'll be testing but I do expect that he will have a powered alarm in the other box and Steve actually has had uh, three backups is that right three backups three backups at this location and that is probably a, could be a record uh, it's a lot and that's one of the reasons why I'm over here is to um, make sure that the alarm is working and also that Steve knows how to test the alarm because what prevents a backup is not the pump, it's actually the alarm. The pumps will eventually fail, but the idea is never to let the alarm fail. Now Steve has actually purchased some indoor uh, water. Uh, why don't you tell us about that, Steve? So I went out and I purchased, uh, you know, first of all, I, I looked at the uh, the online video that you showed, and I went out and I purchased an online, uh, it's just a, a box that, that tells me, you know, when water uh, hits the ground or hits wherever, it's just an audible alarm that'll go off. It's not hooked up to power. It's hooked up to a 9-volt battery. So even if the power were to go off and for whatever reason, water backed up into my house, an audible alarm will go off, and I'll be able to... Uh, go downstairs immediately and, and check out what the problem is. Okay, yeah, that's great. Uh, how much time does it say on there? Can you read that? Four, four, four minutes. Okay, we've been waiting four minutes for the bathtub to empty. And um, that seems about normal. The, ba the bathtub, it does take a, a while to empty out. So we just have to be patient. Uh, and if it doesn't go off, then... Oh, okay. So the red light has gone off, and the, oh my goodness gracious, now, if you see what just happened there, the alarm stopped going, and that is definitely a, a problem. Now, I'm going to turn off the power to the alarm, and we can see here that the battery light has not gone on, and th this is just showing that when there's no power at all, there is no alarm function. And when there is power, there is an alarm function. But in this particular case, it was an electrical failure in the alarm system.
And um, that is certainly something of concern now because as a result of this test, we can now say that this alarm's not working. <laughs> Which is probably good to find that out now than later. Now, if we turn on the, um, the power to the pump, now his pump should be pumping. And the pump will pump about 10 gallons a minute. And it's got to pump out about 20 gallons. Uh, which will take about two minutes, and then the red light should go off, indicating that there's no more uh, high water condition. And, um, yeah, I would say that something, something uh, you know, we're going to have to report now a failed alarm on this system because that's exactly what we don't want to happen. Mm -hmm. But if this were to actually have happened, uh, and you did have a, a failure of the pump, the alarm went on but then burnt out, you'd be very unlikely to hear that. That alarm did not sound terribly loud to me. And I would imagine that when this door is closed, that it's even going to be harder to hear. Um, so this is going to require further investigation in yeah. terms of what exactly is wrong with your alarm right now. But hopefully, um, uh, the red light will go off, which, is, which will tell us that the, alarms, that the pump's working. And what we really were trying to test here is the alarm switch inside the pump. That's the thing that is sensitive and can break. But at the same time, we're also testing all of the other components in the alarm system, which would be the battery backup system, which is being bypassed right now, the, uh, the visible light, and the audible tone. And uh, any minute now, we should have... Oh, it's been running for, yeah, one minute and 40, yeah. So it should be a little bit over two minutes is the normal. There we go. So you got one minute and 45 seconds to pump from a, basically somewhere around 47 gallons down to uh, uh, 32 gallons. And that's, that's good. One minute and 45. Let me just look at that. Steve's got his uh, stopwatch function on his phone. And what we did here was we just measured the pump down time from the alarm level uh, to, to, to the uh, off level for this system. And anything under two minutes here is good. So you, we know that you basically have a new or rebuilt pump in there. So we were expecting that you get good pump performance, but this verifies that. Right. Okay, so this is going to be all for today's video. And what we found here is we do have a problem with this alarm now and that we'll have to get to the bottom of. And um, thank you very much. Thank you, Hank. <laughs> okay.